Hello there everyone, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to Season 2 of the Pro Team Career Mode on Tour de France 2020 with the TIJ Racing Team. Remember, if you're going to enjoy this video, leave a like down below, comment your thoughts as well and subscribe for regular Tour de France content on a Tuesday, Thursday and on a Saturday. And today we start La Route course for the second time, the start of Season 2 of this Tour de France 2020 Career Mode. And what I have noticed the most is that the profile of this year's La Route course is very different to last year. There's a time trial to get us started off, and then a flat stage, and then ending it all a mountainous stage. Another big thing for this season as well is that we have not just got six riders this year. We have added to the six, and we have now got nine riders. So a little bit more flexibility. There's usually six riders you pick for most of these tours, and of course we've got a choice of nine now. So... Three of them will miss out. We'll have three reserves and six guys in the starting lineup. So let's have a look at who is going to be in the starting lineup for this Larouk course. So bear in mind it's a time trial, a flat stage, and then a mountainous stage. Now it's quite interesting. This will be quite good when we have more riders. You can actually put drivers, uh, I was going to say drivers then. I'll you can put riders in different programs so they compete in different events. But I think for us this season, I don't really think that's necessary. Um, because ultimately, you know... Um, we're not going to be competing in all the events. So I'd imagine that everybody's going to have a pretty, um, well, they're going to have a pretty uh, decent season, if you like, in terms of uh, fitness. I don't think there's going to be much problem. Um, but I'm going to ponder who we're going to pick. And once we've made our pick of six, I'll explain why each guy gets into our team for this event. So our team is confirmed for the route course. Missing out, we have our new signing, McClay. But Mikel Bierge and Mar uh, Marcus Holmes both miss out. So two of our new signings, Maduas and Afini, both go into the team. Along with the four guys from last season, Ben Swift, Daya Quintana, John Dibbon and Williams. And there's a chainsaw outside. Bloody brilliant. Now, it's fairly obvious that Ben Swift and Quintana were never going to miss out. You know, the two guys that performed brilliantly last year... Swift minute, uh, winning points classifications at two events. Quintana, of course, winning the Open Tour altogether. So those guys wouldn't miss out. We've also got Maduas, who's quite good in the mountains. So again, a secondary option um, to Quintana. Remember, he got the white jersey last year. He was the best young rider in the pack. So a brilliant coup, I think, to have been able to sign him. Um, I also want to see what Athene is made of in this tour. Um, and Dibbon and Williams just staying, really, because, well, why not? I think that Marcus Holmes, I'm not too fond of him as a rider. Um, Dibbon didn't really do too much either last year. He seemed to fall away in some of the mountainous stages. Uh, but Williams, I don't really think we've seen the most of him yet. And uh, ultimately, Bjerg just misses out and McClay and Holmes, really, because we can only have six. There's no real prejudice against anyone here. Um, but I think we will mix it up potentially for the Braves Cup, depending, of course, on how our guys get on. Uh, don't want to alter our team before the start of the race. We've got the six um, that we have chosen. And here we go for the start of Season 2 and La Route Course. Welcome to the briefing for this first stage. Today, there's a short time trial on the programme. Unsurprisingly, an excellent rouleur should claim victory. Let's be clear, our chances of getting into the top ten are slim. Try to limit the damage. A new rider is ready on the ramp for this individual time trial. A few more seconds until he sets off. Come on, let's give him some encouragement. I've always found these time trials quite uh, peculiar, really. I do find them very weird. Um, I've only done the one in the Tour de France. And we're riding with Ben Swift. Um, it seems that actually it's Ben Swift and Athene who are the two guys that are expected to finish the best here. And it is very peculiar. You know, it's a very, 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 very t uh, tough time trial here. Okay, push hard now. Just tricky these are. Obviously we will do two stages today. Goes about saying really. Alright, okay. Oh, I do my head in, this is. Should be okay, though. What's our objective here? 424? How close are we going to get to it? Quite a while off. Not really a surprise, to be honest. Right, we've been told just to go for it. Well, we've been told to speed up, but there we go. We're never that good in the time trials, to be honest. But we're in 28. Fucking tight. That'd be interesting to see how the rest of our guys get on. But this isn't really too crucial, I wouldn't say. This uh, stage. Come on. One kilometre left. Well, we've not been told to go for it. I'm amazed at that. 
And uh, we've pretty much blown up before the end. Absolute disaster, really. But we finish it in under eight minutes. Not the best, to be honest. A very short stage in the end. Not much we could have done about that. Um, but I don't think there'll be much real change. I mean, to be fair, though, if you think about it, you know, if, if we're 20 seconds off there, that's quite big in terms of the general classification. Hmm. I never really thought about that. With it being only three stages. A flat stage to come up next, then a mountainy stage after that. So let's see who uh, wins this first stage of time trial. It, oh, I thought it was one of our riders. Then I got all excited in that blue kit. But no, it's not, unfortunately. It's uh, Bossan Hagen, who was one of the favourites I noticed beforehand. And obviously he leads the points classification as well. So I really couldn't care less. Um, and to be honest, I'm not really going to listen to the sports director here. Because, you know, there's not really much we can say. Uh, John Dibbon did very well in the end, to be fair. John Dibbon only two seconds behind. Maduas only four. Uh, Athene only five. And then Ben Swift was actually was he actually the slowest rider. Well, bar one, that's uh, disappointing. That could come back to bite us on the bottom if we're going for it. But, you know, what can we do about it in the end? Eighth in terms of the team rankings, though. Quite pleased with that. And we are very swiftly going to move on to the next stage. Um, a very bizarre way to get things started, really. No points for us, unfortunately, there, which is a bit of a... A shame, but uh, yeah, what a weird way to start an event. So we're going to stage two now. Um, a sprint, three climbs. So it's a flat stage, but it's not as easy as it seems. Let's see what the sports track has to say. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbours no particular difficulty. A sprint finish is more than likely. This stage is of no interest to us. Keep cosy inside the peloton. Have a good stage. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The punchers should be in the spotlight today. With a climb 10 kilometers from the finish, they can harbor serious hopes of victory. So a very interesting stage to come here. I mean, it's not a flat stage by any stretch of the imagination. Some quite tough climbs in this stage. Four climbs though, and one just before the end, which will be very interesting, I would say. But we are going on board with Maduas. There are two objectives for today's stage. And that is to finish in the top 20 with John Dibbon and with Ben Swift. So no, really ex no real expectation to go into the breakaway. But seeing as we want to know what Maduas is made of. And seeing as there's, well, one mountain stage after this. But there's certainly a chance. I, I don't know how this is a flat stage. It's certainly not a mountainous stage as such. But with the complexity of these climbs, it's certainly not easy. So I'm going to get Maduas to go in a breakaway here. See what he can do. Uh, even if it's just at the sprint. We'll have to see how we go. But he was one of the best young riders. The best young rider last year, remember. Going to struggle to get a breakaway here. We're not quick enough. Peloton's riding with us. Hmm. Don't want to use all of our energy. Might just tell him to follow attacks. Who's Rojas when he's at home? Why does it say Rojas? It's not Rojas, it's Athene, isn't it? Hang on, my team. Yeah, Athene. Why does it say Rojas? How strange. Isn't that weird? And I do apologise again about the bloody... Uh, chainsaw in the background. Not really much I can do about it. But there we go, he's followed the attack. So hopefully there will be a bit of a breakaway this time. But as you can see, the peloton is straight back. So... We're going to tell him to continue following um, attacks. Not really much we can do. Because if we keep following the attacks and they keep getting uh, caught, then we're just going to waste too much energy. But uh, we've told everyone just to follow and not over tire. That's really going to start to annoy me if that doesn't change from Rojas to Athene. Uh, but again, we'll tell him to follow attacks. If not, if it's a bunched peloton, then I guess we just go with it for the first sprint with Ben Swift. Oh, okay, folks. We've got a problem. We have got a problem. Um, we can't control Athene. Athene's actually up in that breakaway. We've, uh, and for some reason, we can't go up to the top. I hope this game hasn't glitched all of a sudden. But yeah, we are actually on board with Rojas from the Movie Star team. So we can control him. As you can see, Athene's in the breakaway. We've, uh, rather annoyingly, we can't control him now. That's worrying. Oh, God. We haven't broken it all together, have we? Can't go all above, uh, John Dibbon. Let's go back on board with Quintana. See if we can change anything now. Yeah, we can. Hmm. I feel like that road Jass and Athene links broke. So there's absolutely nothing we can do to control Athene. Well, that's uh, interesting. He's very much riding his own race. But he's up in the breakaway. The little breakaway, as you can see. 
Um, we do as he's there as well. Ultimately, not really much of a breakaway because the Peloton are catching straight back up, not um, giving up at all of the Peloton. But that makes things interesting. I hope it's not the same for the whole tour. It'd be a real shame if Athene was uh, uncontrollable for the whole tour because, of course, he won't be able to have any feed today. So that might be a bit of a problem. But the Peloton's caught up, so I'll tell you what, I'm just going to tell them to do is to follow and not overtire. Absolutely nothing we can do. Um, we might as well tell Rojas to attack, ultimately, if we can. Nothing we can do about that. And, uh, yeah, we'll just protect our leaders. So here we are for the first mass sprint of the season. As you can see, there's a little bit of a breakaway with four guys. Van Baal's and Amma recognised, but nobody else from uh, that group. I don't know if uh, rider transfers is actually a thing within the rest of the teams. I'd probably suggest not, but yeah, I suppose you never know. Given that we can sign riders from other teams, can other teams sign riders from our team? Again, not too sure. Rather annoyingly, we, we can't make up any ground with uh, Ben Swift. We're trying to make up some ground here, and I don't really know what's happened. There's a group of 18 in that front group, and uh, that that's rather annoying that we can't seem to be able to get up to that group. So absolutely no chance of points for us here, I don't think. We'll try and catch up, obviously, but again, I can't see it. That's annoying. Especially given that, you know, we're... I very much doubt we're going to do too much in the mountains today. But a group of 18 have just managed to get away, and they're going to get pretty much all the points. We'll tell all of our guys to attack. It's not going to hurt. Uh, but yeah, that's disappointing. No points in the first mass sprint. Oh, well, no one's going to blow up, are they? It's only the first 15 that get points. So this is uh, very bizarre. They're all going to come across the line and we're not going to be able to do anything about it. So, we got no points. Hermodouis is going for it, bless him. We might as well tell them just to follow and not overtire now. But, uh, I think uh, any hopes we'd have for the green jersey are over already, to be quite honest. We've got no points. Um... 20 points Boston Hagen got in that first stage. He's got another 20 points here, so 40 points, and we've not got any. So I'd say it's pretty much mathematically over for us to, to win the sprinters' classification in the uh, the root course. So this is a bit disappointing. Ben Swift's I know, I might have been a poor choice of rider to control in that first uh, time trial, possibly. Could have maybe gone for somebody else, somebody who wasn't that important for the general classification. But we'll have to see. We might be able to get that time back uh, in the second stage. I very much doubt we will because it looks like it'd be a bunched finish. But unless we can get up there in the climbs, it's going to be a pretty basic stage. And we're just going to be really in the uh, in the pallet, which I don't suppose is the worst thing in the world. But given that we didn't do too much at this stage last year and knowing that we don't have many events to impress again this year, we've only got the Euro Tour in addition to what we had last year because of our ranking. We really need to impress, and ultimately, um, we haven't done so at the moment. Well, Afini's starting to lose touch, but we can't do absolutely anything about it. There you go. Well, there's three guys in the breakaway. Seneshat, Goncalves, and Moscon. Um, so, third class climb here. Not going to get any points whatsoever. So, again, this is a disappointing start. No points in the climbing classification. No points in the points classification. It's not exactly going brilliantly here, but equally, I don't think in the mountains there's not too much we could do about it. Those two, those three guys just went away. We didn't respond, and, and that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, but it depends whether those three are equipped to go in the mountains. I mean, that's quite a good gap, 2 minutes and 40, to be honest. All of our guys are absolutely fine, though, which is good. Again, we can't control Afini, which is rather annoying. Hopefully that problem's fixed for the next stage. We'll find out on uh, Thursday's video whether that's the case. But I think it's only the one climb before we get our feed. Yeah, that's right. So we will take all of our feed um, probably coming up this climb. Not that we need it, to be quite honest. So I don't think there's any point taking it until we start coming down. But Gagalvez gets uh, the two points. Moscon gets the uh, solitary point, as you can see. And uh, yeah, not really much to report. Those two climbs are going to go to those three guys. So a very uneventful stage. Just really the mass sprint at the end to look forward to here. Well, I did forget, in a second-class climb, um, there, are, there are obviously a point available for um, the peloton here, if you like, because there's three in the breakaway. Four guys get points. We might as well try and get a point with Quintana. It'd certainly be a start and, and one less point to make up. As you can see, it's quite crowded here, though, so it's going to be tough to make the positions up to have a real fight for this. Can we get anywhere? We're just being pushed out here. There's not much we can do about it. 
Tyler Gagenhart just ahead of us. You can see who's uh, currently got the white jersey. Not interested with any of our other riders, to be honest. Even with us at this point. There we go. We've made it to the front. Happy with that. We will get Medouas actually to, to uh, protect Quintana at this point. Just as a method of getting him up the field. Why not? We might as well try something. See how he gets on. We'll set some good pace. We've got plenty of uh, stamina left, so no worries about that. As you can see, we've got... Uh, we haven't got a decline after this, actually. So we can't use too much of our energy. I don't know where Medouas is at this point. There's the first person camera. Don't think I'd like to use that too often. There we go, there he is. Lovely. So he is protecting us, but he's just riding hard. That's the aim here. And if we don't get the points, then the aim is for Medouas to gain one point. So 1.4 kilometres to go. Rest the peloton keeping up at least. Dibbon is uh, falling away a little bit, as well as Afini. Absolutely nothing we can do about that, in Afini's case anyway. Seems to have some uh, good energy levels left though, does Medouas. That's uh, good to see. We're going to put an attack in now. Can't believe we can control Rojas. That's just ridiculous, isn't it? Well, he's putting a big acceleration. We're going to also put one in. But Medouas looks good to get the points here. Could be us, though, that being said. Looks like it's just us two going for it. And I'm quite happy to give it to Medouas at this point. Outstanding stuff. Brilliant. Excellent. Great to see. Uh, we'll tell him to just follow and not override now. Same as Medouas at this point. Uh, actually, no. We're getting them to persist without limits. See if they can maybe make some ground up possibly here, but... It's all looking okay. Uh, a point for Medouas, which is certainly better than nothing. And we've got another climb coming up. Very exciting. Well, there's real concern here, you know. Dibbon, I think that uh, dark sign actually means that he could be cut from uh, this tour, which we really don't want. That would be an absolute disaster. <laughs> we can only control five riders as it is. Never mind uh, losing one due to being out of the tour. That would be a disaster, but he's been terrible so far. I might even consider dropping Dibbon from the team altogether. He's just not been good enough uh, up the mountains. And ultimately, you might be good at the sprints. Ben Swift's good at the sprints, but at least he can keep it up in the mountains. And he's an absolute disaster in the mountains, is Dibbon, from what I've seen so far. So another point available for us here, if we can possibly get it. Might actually be better to go with, it, with uh, Medouas, potentially. Where is he? He's in 15th, so... We'll allow him to continue trying to protect um, Quintana and see which one of us can get the point. And then ultimately, if, if Medouas gets the point here and gets some points later, then we might put some effort in trying to get that polka dot jersey with him. We're gaining a lot of ground on the, uh, the guys at the front here, interestingly. A hell of a lot. And we've got good energy left, so we can continue to push. We've left everyone else behind. That's interesting. Those guys only up there. They seem to have lost all pace. We will just tell uh, the guys behind us to persist without limit now. Ain't going to hurt. No, we can't control Williams now. Bloody fantastic. Oh, dear. This is going disastrously. McQuintana gained a lot of time. Again, he's got plenty of energy in the back. Certainly worth going for. Senna Shatter's blown up. Um, he's going to wait for the peloton, I think. So we could even get two points here. We don't want to push too hard. It seems silly to push that hard. But Quintana could well join the breakaway here. Alright, we are going to push hard now. I think Seneshat might well have got some pace back, possibly. Let's go for it. Let's even get an extra point. We dare Quintana here. I think we should be able to. Yeah. Right, no point pushing anymore. Two points for Dea Quintana. Just because there are four in the breakaway now. Seneshat does get one more point. But, seeing as we're here... And uh, we've gapped the peloton by quite a significant amount, even though we've just nearly smashed into the wall. And um, why not? We might as well try and catch these two guys at the front with Quintana. Let's see how we get on. Here we go then. Time for the famous last few kilometres of the race. Time to definitely gain some time. Um, persist without limit for Quintana. Really annoying that we can't control uh, Williams because he won't be able to get any feed. That's uh, going to be really annoying at this point. But it looks like Dibbon's out completely. I don't know what's happened to Athene. I don't know whether he's there or... Well, 
no idea where he is. We'll find out at the end of the race. Hopefully he's not in that uh, Dibbon group. Oh, he is. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Afini and Dibbon are together at the back. That's a disaster. They're both going to be kicked off. So we're down to four riders. And uh, we, we can't even control Williams. Bloody fantastic. Great, isn't it? Oh, dear. Right. We'll tell Medus and Quintana to attack at this point. Just to try and gain some ground. Um, as you can see, Ben Swift's there as well. To gain some pace. But we've got all of our feed left, crucially, coming up to the end of the race. That could be very important. Very crowded up here, so not much chance of doing much. Looks like it probably will be a bunched finish, but you never know. You tell you what, I'm going to go with Quintana and try and put in a massive turn of pace. Depends where he's in the field. Yeah, not really much we can do from here, to be honest. But I'm going to just attack. That's what we can do. So Goncalves gets the points. Moscon gets another one again. But let's see what we can do here. Can we put in a good turn of pace and get to the front of the field? Possibly. Again, we're using a lot of our energy. Yeah, I've got all of our feed left, remember. And we are coming down here now. So I'll tell you what, during this we will tell all of our riders to attack. Quintana, Swift, all, etc. included. Oh, we've been ran wide there. That was just a bit dirty, wasn't it? We've got, we know we've got our feed left, so that's absolutely fine. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is going disastrously, these stages. Not gone well for us at all. It really hasn't. Let's try and put some pace in, try and get a bit better placed. I mean, rather annoying, we're putting all this pace in and it's not really making too much of a difference. Right, let's uh, have a look where everyone is. So, Medus is, so we've got Quintana in 39th, Medus in 88th, I mean, come on. Uh, Quintana we know is in 39, and Swift in 5th. Well, that's pretty good. We can uh, definitely take that. And uh, we will start to get everyone to take their feed now. Rather annoyingly, there's only three guys that we can really control. That is absolutely crazy. At this point. Because if you remember Williams, um, we can't control him. Athene and Dibbon are at the back. And we can't control Athene. You know, no point really controlling Dibbon. Because he's, he's way out of it. Really disappointed for him. Looks like Goncalves will actually win the stage in the end. Unless he's caught. 30 second gap isn't the most. I appreciate that. But I think he's looking pretty good here. Maybe should have took that red gel first. Possibly. Hmm. Oh well. Very strange today. Williams is... We're not going to be able to take any feed with Williams. Well, we might as well take the feed with Dibbon. Even though he's going to be out of this. That's an absolute disaster. Two of our guys out of LaRoupe course. The game's bugged a bit today, rather annoyingly. Um, but let's see what we can do, eh? Not much more we can do. Goncalves is knackered now, so that's him out of it. Might as well tell uh, Medus and Quintana to uh, consume their feed. Get them both to put in a pace of 100. Just try and get a bit further up. We're obviously controlling Ben Swift, who's our best sprinter. Um, have they been told to have the red gel? Yes, they have. So that's, that's absolutely fine. We'll see how he gets on. Ben Swift, you can see Goncalves has lost the lead now. 15 guys in this front group. We'll tell um, the other two to start attacking. Really annoying that we can only control three of our guys. But as I've just said, absolutely nothing we can do about it. Ben Swift at the front, we know he's a very good sprinter. 30 points available. So, you know, there's, a, there's certainly a chance we can get back into this if we win this stage. Let's go for it then. I think we've been uh, whooped a bit here, to be honest. We've been... Yeah, we've been mugged, but let's see. Come on, son. Come on, Swifty. Come on. Yes, we've won the stage. I wasn't expecting that, but we win it. Brilliant. Uh, might as well control Quintana. Not going to make any difference at this point. Rather annoyingly, we finish a lot lower than I would have hoped. But oh well, a very strange stage. A very strange start to the season, personally. Um, we will control Athene and Dibbon just to hope that they can get in it. Can we actually control him now? Well, we can, but that's uh, interesting. That's an interesting camera angle, and apparently it's turned to grass now. We are outside the time limit. That's a real worry. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to try and gain as much time as possible with these two. And hopefully we don't finish outside the time limit, but really I don't think there's much we can do about it. Here we go, then. 
nice to see we've won the stage. A very peculiar LaRue course so far. Really don't know what to make of it. Really don't. Yeah, I'm pretty speechless. I mean, we've got one of our guys at the front, two of our guys at the back. But we take a stage victory. So, in the general classification, um, I'm guessing it's still the guy who won the time trial who leads. It was a bunch finish at the end of the day. So, it's Nizolo who gets the general classification. Um, Gunkarls obviously has the young rider, the best climber. And Bol has the young rider. Let's hear what the sports directors have got to say. Very much two sides of the coin today. Huge congratulations for this win, guys. Our chances of victory were virtually nil. This is an outstanding performance. You beat all the favourites. Well, he sounds pretty positive there. As you can see, we tried our best with Afini and Dibbon, but they were both outside the time limit. So that is more painful than you would believe. But I guess, I suppose, they wouldn't really be going for it anyway. But a shame that we couldn't see what Afini is made of. I think Dibbon is very much out of the team following this event. So two points for Quintana and one point for Maduas in the climbing classifications. 30 points for Ben Swift in that stage in the points classification. Um, that's not too bad at all. And we finish eighth in the team classification of the stage. So in the general classification, then Ben Swift moves up to 14th place. In reality, I don't think that that that's, uh, time trial is going to matter too much. He's 21 seconds behind, though, going into the final stage. Medua's 31 seconds back, Williams 40 seconds back, and Quintana 41 seconds back. But given that the next stage is a mountainous stage, that general classification is going to be wiped open completely. The best climber classification, exactly the same as this stage. Obviously, only climbs in this stage so far, therefore, only climbing points in this stage. Um, and Concarves looks very much the favourite to take that polka dot jersey. Points classification, then Ben Swift is third. Laporte uh, goes from third all the way to the top. The Frenchman with 45 points. Boss and Hagen with 40 points and Swift with 30. Definitely not um, impossible to get that green jersey. Young Riders as well, we've certainly got a chance. Maduas just behind Gagan, Hart and Boll, who's moved to the top of that classification. And Williams is in there as well, so definitely a chance to get that. As I said before, 7th in the team classification, not bad at all. Can't complain at that one too much. 15 points though in the uh, Pro Cycling classifications for Ben Swift. And that moves up to 4th for the Pro Cycling rankings um, of the stage. So, big plus there. Two of our guys outside the time limit, which is really disappointing, but... We've got four guys for the final stage, which is definitely the toughest stage yet. As you can see, five climbs, and um, particularly at the end, it is a first-class climb. Hence why I said that all those gaps on the general classification will be blown apart. And I think we look to either Maduas or Quintana, potentially, to actually go and win this thing. It's not uh, against any sort of hope. I think that we've definitely got a chance. Five climbs should be a fascinating last stage. What a strange episode that was, but if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, comment your thoughts as well, and of course subscribe for regular Tour de France content on a Tuesday, Thursday, and on a Saturday, all at 6pm. But apart from that, all I've got to say is I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I've been TIJ Game, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.